friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the second episode in my Instant Pot series. This one is two delicious dinner or meal recipes that I wanna share with you. They are quick, they are easy, they have a minimal amount of ingredients and they are both absolutely delicious. So if you have an Instant Pot or you're looking at possibly purchasing an Instant Pot and wanna make sure that it's worthwhile, definitely stay tuned for this series. I do have the Instant Pot that I have, as well as a few other options linked down below in the description box in my Amazon store. So I wanna show you two amazing Instant Pot dinners. So if you wanna see what I have in store for you, all you have to do is keep watching. For tonight's Instant Pot recipe, we are going to make Italian creamy chicken pasta. I am excited about this. I have not made this type of recipe in my Instant Pot, so I'm excited to give it a try. So let me show you everything that is in tonight's recipe. So first you are going to need some chicken stock. You're also going to need some pasta. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Fiber Gourmet Light Penne Pasta. This is a lot less points, about half of traditional pasta, and honestly, truly, there is no difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Fiber Gourmet Light Penne. I do have this linked down in my description box below. Salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, minced garlic, fat-free or reduced fat cream cheese. I'm gonna use the Trader Joe's Light Shredded Mozzarella. You'll need some Roma tomatoes, a red onion, some mushrooms, and last but certainly not least, some boneless, skinless chicken breast. So let's get started on tonight's Instant Pot dinner. So the first thing that we need to do to get started on our dinner is we need to go ahead and cut up our mushrooms. We also need to dice our red onion, get it nice and diced up into smaller pieces. And we also need to chop up our Roma tomatoes. And then lastly, we're just going to dice our chicken breast into pieces. All of that can get added directly into the Instant Pot liner. So I'm gonna go ahead, get my veggies chopped up, Once you have your chicken and your veggies added to your pot, we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. This is one thing I love about an Instant Pot is literally everything gets thrown into one pot and it comes out with a perfect meal. So, love the Instant Pot. So, I'm gonna go ahead and add my light penne pasta. This bag is only eight ounces. So, when I did the recipe, I calculated my points based off of eight ounces. I also need to go ahead and add two cups of chicken stock. So I have a measuring cup here, and I'm gonna go ahead and put in two cups. You wanna make sure that all of your pasta, as well as your chicken, is almost all the way covered with liquid when using your Instant Pot. So you gotta have enough liquid to cook down your pasta as well. So there's the chicken stock. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some minced garlic. And I never measure my garlic, as you know. So I'm just gonna put a big chunk in there. And then lastly, we're gonna add our spices. So first is the Italian seasoning. So this is gonna have all of those delicious Italian spices all rolled into one seasoning. And then I'm also going to be adding just some black pepper as well as some salt just to give our dinner just a little more flavor and then some pink Himalayan sea salt. So go ahead and add all of that to your Instant Pot. We're gonna give this a quick stir and get it into the pot and ready to go. But that's it you guys, how quick and easy is that? 
Look at how amazing this looks. So there is everything ready in our Instant Pot. The only two things we haven't added are the cream cheese and the mozzarella. Those are actually added after cooking, and that's what creates that creamy pasta. So now we are ready to get our Instant Pot all set and ready to go to cook our dinner. So the first thing that we're gonna do is hit the manual button. We actually want this set for nine minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and pop our lid on our pot, get it going for nine minutes, and then I will be back when we're ready to naturally release. The timer just went off and now we are doing five minutes of natural release. Once your cooking setting finishes on your Instant Pot, this L000 will come up and then it will count down the number of natural release minutes. Each recipe should tell you how many minutes to naturally release. If they say to release the pressure yourself, that is when you use this dial up here and you turn this over here to where it says venting. But we are going to naturally release for an additional three minutes, then I'll flip that switch and vent out any remaining pressure. Once your Instapot has reached the five minutes of natural release, just go over to the top very carefully. Do not put your hand over that and flip the dial and steam will come out and it will continue to release the rest of the pressure. Then you are ready to pop the lid off. I just popped the lid off of the Instant Pot. Look at how good this pasta looks. This is going to be such a good dinner. So next we're gonna go ahead and add in our cheese. So first I have my cream cheese. So I'm gonna add that. And then what's left here in this bag of the Trader Joe's light shredded mozzarella is one cup. I did measure it on my food scale. So we're gonna go ahead and pop that in. And then we are going to just give our Instant Pot a stir. Make sure that pasta is nice and mixed in with the cheeses and then we will be good to go. So I'm gonna let this cheese melt, get it nice and mixed together. Woo, we're getting steamy, sorry guys. And then I'll plate up my dinner and show you the completed dinner and give you all of the smart points. Here is the completed pasta dinner. Once the cream cheese and the cheese has melted, this looks so delicious, but boy, it's hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it cool off just a little bit before I plate it up and I'll be back with tonight's dinner. So here is dinner. You can have all of this for only seven smart points and that includes the Parmesan cheese on top. If you did not put the Parmesan cheese on, it would be six smart points. But this is a full size dinner plate so that is a huge serving. It's about one and a quarter cups for only six smart points or seven with the Parmesan. But look at how delicious this looks with the chicken mushrooms cheese yum another instant pot dinner success for tonight's dinner we are making instant pot taco pasta tacos and pasta together uh yes please that sounds so good so let me show you what is in tonight's dinner so you're going to need one pound of extra lean ground beef this is actually a two and a half pound package i'm just going to weigh out on my food scale one pound you're also going to need some beef broth or beef stock you're going to need some pasta and i'm going to go ahead and use my very favorite fiber gourmet these are the light elbows i love this pasta it is half of the smart points of a regular pasta two ounces three smart points versus two ounces six smart points you can't go wrong it doesn't taste any different and it is so good full of fiber full of protein and of course half the smart points you can't go wrong I'm also going to do a mix of fat-free cheese as well as light shredded mozzarella. I want to get that nice cheesy finish, so I'm going to go ahead and mix these two cheeses. You're also going to need some taco seasoning, and last but certainly not least, you're going to need some tomato sauce. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. The first thing that you're going to do is go ahead and set your Instant Pot to saute. You want to go ahead and let it warm up for just a couple of minutes. And then to that, we're gonna go ahead and add in our one pound of the extra lean ground beef. And we're going to cook this down directly into our Instant Pot until it is cooked all the way through. That is one thing I love about the Instant Pot 
is that you don't have to saute veggies and meat separately. You can do it all in one pot. So literally you have one pot to clean. One of my favorite things besides how quick and easy the dinners are. So I'm gonna get this hamburger browned and then we'll add in some more of our ingredients. Once your hamburger is browned or most of the way browned, you're gonna go ahead and go back down here to your Instant Pot and we're actually going to set this to manual because we do want to turn off the saute function and go ahead and set that to manual. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in the rest of our ingredients. Sorry, in advance for all of the steam. I don't know, here, let me try to turn it, there we go. Still gonna be a little bit steamy, but we're gonna go ahead and add in the rest of our ingredients. So first we're gonna add in our small can of tomato sauce. We're also going to add in two cups of beef broth. That should help with the steam. We're also going to add in our package of taco seasoning. We're gonna give that a good stir and then we will add in our pasta. So give that kind of a good stir. Get that taco seasoning nice and mixed in to your meat and in with that beef broth and that tomato sauce. And then lastly, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna add in your pasta. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in those light elbows. Give that a quick stir and then we're ready to cook. And this dinner only cooks for five minutes. So it is super quick. It does have to release naturally, so it actually will end up taking about 15 minutes or so, so about 20 minutes total with sauteing down that ground beef, which is nothing. So we're gonna go ahead and get the lid popped on and get this set to finish cooking. So we're gonna set our manual time down to five minutes. Make sure your lid is on and that your valve here is closed, and then we are good to go. So I will be back once it is finished cooking and once we have started to naturally release. Once your Instant Pot beeps, tells you that it's done, we're gonna go ahead and do a manual release. So you're just going to turn this and the steam will start to come out. The pressure will release and as soon as the steam has completely come out, your little knob will pop up and you'll be able to remove the top of your Instant Pot and we'll be ready to add on some cheese. So I just removed the top of my Instant Pot. I'm gonna give this a quick stir. And then we're gonna go ahead and top it with our cheese. Clean you off here, there we go. So that looks so good. I only have a little less than half of a cup of the Trader Joe's cheese and the rest of it is fat-free cheddar. So we're gonna go ahead and just kind of put that on top of our pasta. And then we're gonna put the lid on, not all the way, just basically set the lid on until the cheese melts. And I'll be back to show you our completed dinner. So here is what the taco pasta looks like once we melt the cheese. This makes only four servings, so you get quite a large serving. I'm gonna go ahead and plate this up and I'll be back to show you our completed dinner, but this looks so good. And here is the completed dinner. So I went ahead and put some steamable broccoli cauliflower mix into my microwave, added a little bit of spray butter, salt and pepper, so that is zero. And then look at this taco pasta. This is one fourth of the recipe, and this is a full size dinner plate. This one fourth is only six smart points. This entire plate of pasta is six smart points. So that makes my dinner, with the vegetables being zero, a total of six points. Thank you for joining me on the second episode in my new WW Instant Pot series. I hope that you enjoyed seeing the two recipes that I shared with you. They were both delicious, family friendly, kid approved, really good options for those busy working people, those moms, those dads that don't have a lot of time to make dinner. The Instant Pot is an absolute lifesaver. Again, I have several linked in my Amazon store below. Also, the Fiber Gourmet Pasta is in my Amazon store as well. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. You don't wanna miss out on any of these Instant Pot videos, as well as all of the other recipe and WW content that I share here on my channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell. I'd love it if you'd give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know, are you going to try these recipes? Or maybe if I persuaded you to go ahead and purchase yourself an Instant Pot. And of course, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.